Hey guys, today we're going to paint two different lures and the reason is from a video I did about a month ago on the five lures I use in the summertime and my number one square bill was a Spro's Little John body style. Now a lot of that had to do with last summer. This lure for me last summer was really hot. I caught a lot of fish with it. And I thought, fine, that's what we're going to come back with on the summertime. It was a good summertime lure. But this summer, it hasn't done quite as well. Haven't caught that many with this style. Instead, it's been the S-crank body style. So if anything, it shows don't get locked into one lure. That was going to be my top pick for a summertime lure. And it turns out this one's done a whole lot better. So you have to be a little flexible, go with what works, not with what worked last time. But I thought, let's try something a little different. We're going to paint them both. We're going to paint them both in the same pattern. And then I'm going to go out and fish them. And we're going to see which one might do a better job, one or the other, or if they're going to come out the same. And we're going to paint this in what I'm going to call my sunrise pattern. Stick with me. Okay, we're going to paint two of them. Got the bills all taped up. We're going to have to start out with a base color, Createx Opaque White. Give us that base we want to paint over the top. And as always, all we want is just a nice base coat to give us something to apply our other paint to. Alright, there's the first one. Let's get that one done and get the little giant body style done. Alright, there we go. It's got those. Let me clean the gun out and we'll move on and start with some colors. We're ready to go with this one. Now, as I said, we're going to call this my sunrise pattern. So we're going to start out with the Createx Transparent Orange. That'll be our first. We're just going to put a narrow stripe right down the belly with the orange. There we go. As you can see, I'm not really going up the sides any. Just staying down the bottom. That's all I'm looking for. All right, let's do the other one. All right, there we go. You can see we got a little bleed up here, but it won't matter because our top coat is going to cover that up, so that's fine. All right, let me clean the gun out. That was simple. We'll move on. Now, next thing I want is yellow. And Normally, when I've been doing a lot of lures, such as my bluegill pattern, I end up with a Createx Transparent Bright Yellow. There are occasions I've used the Createx Opaque in the yellow. But this time around, I thought we'd do something different. So we're going to use some Createx, but we're going to use Fluorescent Yellow. I'm not sure if I painted one with the Fluorescent Yellow before. I've done them for myself. I don't know if I've done one where I painted, but... We're going to go fluorescent yellow on this one and see what we get. And we're going everything except the belly. Make sure you get up into that nose good. Get that covered. Well, that's pretty bright yellow, isn't it? Whew. Yeah, I'll be able to see that coming. They don't hear it, they'll at least be able to see it. All right, there's the yellow on that one. Now, let's do the other one quick. Get it on the little John body style. Get that nose good again. Now that we're going to cover up that orange on the side. Let's break it 
that tail into that, hadn't I? A little bit more on the nose. There we go. All right, got the bright yellow. Now, I have one more color going to put to this. Let me clean everything up, and I think before I put the next color on, because I put this a little thick, I'm going to get the heat gun out. I'm going to dry this really good on both of these first, clean the gun out, and then we'll go with our last color. All right, there's our orange. Got our fluorescent yellow. We need one more color for the top. Now, normally when you put the top color on, a lot of times it's a dark. It's a, depending on what you're after, it could be a black or a real dark green or a dark brown, like a burnt umber or something like that. But I'm calling this my sunrise pattern. So I don't want anything too dark up there, but I do want a little something. So I decided we're going to go Createx Pearlized Magenta. Yeah, you get a little purple in those sunrises every once in a while, don't you? Depending on the weather, huh? So we're going to run a little magenta right down the back. Not very much, just a little. I'm going to put a little more around the face, around the eyes, a little bit on this one. There we go, just a narrow stripe of that magenta down the back. That's all there is to that. Let me get the other one here. And the same thing here. We're going to stay a little close so we don't get too much bleed over here. Just a run right down the back. Again, we're going to go a little around the face on this one too. Just a touch around that face. I didn't want too much. A little bit more on this side. There we go. There we go. That's all I want. Got our orange in the belly, got our yellow on the side, got some magenta on top. And that'll cover. We got them both. I think in this case I'm going to go with the red eyes instead of the yellow. I think they'll show up a little bit better on this one. Put a top coat. And I'll show you what we got. And I'm going to take them to the lake and see if they'll catch some fish. Well, there we go, guys. There's my sunrise pattern. Now, I took them out and fished them, and I will have to say, the S-Crank did a better job than the Spro's Little John style. I did catch a couple little ones with that Spro's, but by far, I did a lot better with the S-Crank. So, same color, different lures. They just work differently. That's all there is to it. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.